I love split pea soup. Absolutely love it. Not enough restaurants have it. Uh, and from what I'm hearing, it's not hard to make. So we're gonna try it today. So come on close, I'll show you. Oh, you can even see the bread back here. I'm even gonna make my own croutons, letting the uh, sourdough bread go stale and then I'm gonna toast them up and season them. They're gonna be like garlic, uh, garlic croutons. It's gonna be awesome. So come on in, let's get this thing started. And yes, I'm doing a slow cooker because I had errands to run today. So I'm gonna let this cook all day. I'm gonna run my errands, come back and eat the most amazing split pea soup you've ever had. Let's run down the list. Onions, celery, carrots. Here's the split pea, beans. You get them on the bean and, uh, well, not really beans, they're just split peas. Uh, you get them on the bean and rice aisle, though, in the bag. Some places you might be able to get them fresh, you just shovel them into a bag, but that's mainly where they are in the supermarket. Look at that, some garlic and not translucent either. Real fresh cut up garlic for all you freaks out there. But I am using dried parsley today. <laughs> I know, it drives you nuts. Got some chicken broth. Salt and pepper, bay leaf, and this is the magic. Now, if you're a vegetarian, you can do this recipe without this. Leave this part out, okay? And do it exactly like I'm doing. But for all you meat lovers, this is some ham hock. Yeah, baby. It's like bacon, but bigger. It's a big piece of ham. So we're gonna put that in there too. This is so simple. Wait till you see this. I know what you're saying. Hey, Jack. Why don't you have the liner for the crock pot? You're all freaked out and loving it. Uh, the reason why I'm not putting a liner in this one, this episode, is because at the end I'm gonna have to mash it. I'm gonna put a masher in here and mash the, uh, the peas and everything in it. And I don't wanna break the liner, so it's kind of a waste if I'm gonna be uh, possibly damaging it. Okay, the other thing is this. Yes, that's right, mashing. So I'm going to the store today, one of the errands I'm running while this is cooking, I'm going to the store and getting a potato masher I told you guys I'd never buy one. I told you I didn't need one. <laughs> and this is like the second video I've needed one. So I'm just gonna break. I'm gonna go to the Dollar Tree and find one for a buck. But uh, so that'll be, let's get this started first. This is called the layered effect. We're gonna layer it exactly like the recipe. So as this recipe says it, that's how you're gonna put everything in and you're not gonna mix it. Okay, so the first thing you wanna do is put your split peas in here. Hey, <laughs> look at that, isn't that pretty? Next thing you're gonna do is put two ham hocks in, or one meaty bone, I'm putting two ham hocks in. We're gonna pull the bones out later, don't worry. There we go. <laughs> now we're gonna put in our carrots, our onions, our celery, garlic. Put in one bay leaf. Try to keep it whole, because you're gonna wanna pull it out later. So there's a bay leaf right there. Put that in there. Do a little salt action. Now black pepper, have at it. I'm a big black pepper fan. So this is for, just to kick it up. Put your parsley in. Now the recipe says to put in water. I didn't want to put in water. So I can't stand putting in water because I feel it dilutes it. And I want to put in chicken broth. So you can do water or you can do chicken broth. Here we go. So the recipe says do not stir this. Crazy, huh? I grabbed this recipe off the internet because it looked easy. I love slow cooking. So we're just gonna do it exactly like it says. Don't stir it, cover it. You can go four to five hours on high or you can do eight to 10 hours on low. I'm gonna put this over on the, on the counter. I'm gonna go four to five hours on high and then I'm gonna start on my croutons and get those prepared. So you're gonna wanna cube up your bread You kind of want your bread in pieces like that big, just like croutons. Take a little bit of oil. Get it in there. Throw your bread in there. You want to toss it around quickly. You don't want any of the bread to absorb too much oil or it makes it soggy and wet. So get your bread in right away. There you go. Get it all coated. Nice. Get your cookie sheet out. There you go. Spread it all out. You can either bake these or you can broil them or brown them, depending on what kind of oven you have. 
before you put them in, you're gonna to wanna to use season these real quick. I'm using the uh, best gourmet seasoning over taste. You guys can use garlic, onion, thyme, anything you want. Just, just sprinkle it up. Now toast them up. Oh, look how beautiful they came out. Look at this, perfect. They're seasoned, they smell amazing. Okay, so here's what you're gonna do. Take these off, put them in a little bowl, and set them off to the side, let them dry out a little bit, get a little harder. They're all different sizes, but homemade croutons are so easy to make. That's all you gotta do. A little oil, a little seasoning, toast them up. Hear that? <laughs> They're awesome. We'll have these ready for our split pea soup at the end. I will see you guys in a couple hours. It's been on for five hours. Everything's exactly how it was stacked. Is that crazy? Look at that. That's beautiful. Okay, first thing we're supposed to do, oh, first thing we just turn it, well, it's, it's off, but it's still cooking away. So I'm gonna, while that's doing that, I'm gonna pull the bones out and try to find that bay leaf. I don't know where that went. I may find it later, who knows. Now, some of you, you don't have to use ham, ham hocks. I'm not gonna put that in, in my, I just did it for flavoring. But some of you, like bits of, see how bits of, of ham may fall in. You can let that, let that fall in. Make sure you don't grab the fatty stuff though. That was just, oh, yeah, see this is, this is falling apart. I might be losing some of it. Okay, so I'm gonna leave some of the ham in there. We'll let some of that in there. There we go. Uh-oh, yeah, it's, whoops. I just wanna get some of that fat off. So what you do is put it in here, get the ham separated from the fat, and throw the ham back in. That's what I'm gonna do. They did say you can mash it. I kind of like mine mashed, but this is what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna serve it both ways. So let's do that. I don't wanna, I don't wanna ruin how beautiful it looks. So let's mix it up. Let me get a ladle. Okay, so let's take a look at it and see how it looks. Look at that. I think I'm just gonna, oh look, it's just, it's beautiful. Some of you may want it thicker. If you want it thicker, they say mash it up, but mine's, you know, this is, this is good. All right, so I, I was, I got tricked into buying a masher. You guys are laughing it up, I hear you. All right, let's take a look here. Okay, here it comes. Here comes the, uh, just a few of the croutons. And the beauty with this is, as you let it set, it gets thicker and thicker and thicker. Okay, normally you don't eat pea soup with a towel, but I'm so impatient, you guys know me. Uh, I can't wait for it to cool down, <laughs> the, the bowl's hot, but I wanna try it out. So, uh, and let it sit for a little bit, because right now it's starting to get that film on top like pudding does. It thickens with time. So if you're patient, unlike I am, uh, it'll be even better, even thicker. Mm. Ooh, that was hot, but man, is that good. Wow. That is so good. Croutons, you gotta have the croutons. Make those croutons like I showed you. Okay, I'm gonna try this and not burn myself. It's so delicious, it's so creamy and thick and awesomeness. You like split pea? Make it home. This is one of those recipes where you go, that was it? That's all it took? Very easy. I'll see you on the next episode, take care. So really you want your uh, pea soup to sit. Mm, oh, oh, it's hot. Hold on, top recording.